I'm at Central Oregon Community College, and this is our new networking lab and computer classroom. In the previous video, I showed you the classroom in the construction phase, but now we're going to go take a look at what it looks like now that everything's finished. Let's take a look. All right, coming inside, this is the main room. We have a fantastic view, but right now the, the blinds are closed. That's all right. We'll take a look here. We have the ability to accommodate 40 workstations in the lab. The main stations are here in the center of the room. Each station has two computers. One computer that's on the Active Directory domain, controlled by the ITS department, and the other computer which has a network drop that we have control over that goes right into our networking closet and the computer's off the domain so we can do whatever we need to do for uh, computer maintenance, computer networking, computer security, whatever we want. So every station has two computers that the students can use. All right, let's take a look over here. We've got above the ceiling video projection. We've got a nice teacher workstation with a Crestron control system, quite nice, custom designed podium. The teacher computer also has two machines, one machine which is on the Active Directory domain and a network drop that goes to our networking closet for a teacher to plug in a laptop and be on the local network that's off domain. Let's take a look at the networking closet. The networking closet is still kind of filling in. You've got two sections. This is our section that goes to the classroom. The other section of the networking closet is controlled by the IT services department. So these computers in here, once again, one of the computers has a network drop that goes right into our rack. And right here we're running three NetLab pods for Cisco CCNA class. This is pod one. This is pod two, and then pod three is not um, fully plugged in yet, but we're setting up pod three right now. We've got really nice cable management here. Um, they purchased excellent equipment, and we're really grateful. We've got a Chatsworth rack system with three racks, cable management built in, a ladder rack for the cables, and uh, Bruce Thompson did all of the wiring, and he did a fantastic job and we really owe Bruce a really uh, large uh, debt of gratitude and the entire IT services department, Wade DeBrawl, Ryan Hildebrand, everybody in IT, Laura Bomey, Dan Cicchini, also Matt McCoy who helped make this go, and Darren McRae who designed the whole project. I want to thank everybody who participated, uh, the CIS department for helping this to happen. Um, Luke Cosano, our department head, who led the project. It was excellent. We have over here, before I leave, the NetLab server, which runs our Cisco CCNA and VMware labs and a labs and Linux labs. We've got a um, custom-built router firewall that the students can use to VPN in from outside. We have our own internet connection to the outside, which is excellent. So the students are able to remote in, and then they can work on labs from home remotely. We've got two virtualization servers down here running VMware ESXi and vCenter. Um, right now we have about 128 gigs of RAM in the virtualization servers. We're going to upgrade them to 256 gigs of RAM and they're running 24 processors, uh, two 12-core processors in each of those servers. We're probably going to upgrade our switch here to a gigabit switch. Right now we're running just a fast Ethernet switch. But these cables from the switch to the patch panel go directly up here, down here, underneath, and into the classroom. So we have home run connections right to the workstations. And uh, it's just an ideal situation to run a computer networking lab. The college has done a great job. And uh, we're just really grateful for everybody who helped make it happen. I also want to thank for making the furniture and all of that happen, Julie Mosier, who really helped out and got us the, the desks and the custom-built desks to accommodate the two computers. Everything we needed, they accommodated us for, and uh, it's been really great. 